I will soon be celebrating one year as a pancreatic cancer survivor. Um, my wife and I have lived here in Phoenix, Arizona for about 25 years now. Yeah. When Phil Zavlesky first met me, uh, at that time he was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. And when we say stage four pancreatic cancer, we're, we're talking about pancreas cancer being outside of the pancreas itself and other organs. Understanding my diagnosis took about six weeks. It wasn't something that was very simple uh, and that's part of the reason why pancreatic cancer is so difficult to deal with because it's detected so late and because it's so hard to actually find. He wanted to know all the all the options and also wanted to talk, talk about prognosis and so when we talk about stage 4 pancreatic cancer we're talking about typically these individuals on average have just less than a year to live, uh, just actually six months on average uh, survival. And they did have a clinical trial that was open at that point in time, and it seemed like uh, it, it, it would offer an option that I felt really good about. TGen is a phenomenal resource here in Phoenix, uh, and one which most of the major cancer facilities are affiliated with. We need the, the, the support of people that are willing to drive the research and organizations like the Sina Magwitz Foundation are great because if they if they don't exist then we can't do the research. Uh, I felt that I trusted Dr. Brzezansi. Uh, there was there was a tremendous rapport that he developed with me and based upon the fact that again there, there was there was promise in my mind, hope that was created. Actually it was the first hope that I'd had since my diagnosis. Wow. That's very nice. That's a good one. Meeting the psychological needs of feeling like there are people there pulling for you and working with you and believing in the treatment, that's what really creates hope. This trial was, was a trial that was conceived initially for 10 individuals and it was really because of the, the, uh, the support of the Sina Magwitz Foundations. The treatment was a, about a 26 week protocol um, where I received chemotherapy um, uh, once a week, two weeks on, one week off. After six, uh, almost six months of chemotherapy, we concluded we could not find any more tumor present in his body. And so when I went to tell him and his wife, it was actually his wife Kathy who broke down and cried. Uh, of, of course, happiness. I started realizing what I was actually telling them. Oh, I forgot all about the guano. After you have a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer, I think you're much more appreciative of every day and of the simple things that make up a day and of the love you share and of the love of family and friends. And the fancy things that maybe were important before kind of fade into the background. Absolutely. Phil's prognosis is, is um, it's always fluid. Uh, you know, we are in uncharted territory because if you go by the book, uh, Phil should have passed away uh, last fall. And so we are watching him very closely. You just really appreciate the love and you want to share the love, really. I know that sounds kind of corny, but it's absolutely true.